Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to cash out your Cake and BNB tokens from PancakeSwap. So let's get started. All right, so I've done a lot of videos on how you get set up to trade on the Binance Smart Chain, Pancake Swap, Bunny Swap, Bakery Swap. There's quite a few of them out there, and a lot of people are doing great. Uh, the only problem is I get a lot of questions on how do you cash out, and you have to be very careful with the Binance Smart Chain. It is a separate blockchain from regular Binance and from most of what you're used to dealing with. So if you want to cash out, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. Now, the first and easiest way is on Binance. All right, so if you have a Binance account and you want to withdraw Cake, that's not a big problem. We can just put in Cake here and we can do Deposit. All right, now you'll notice here that there are two different protocols. So they have the BEP2 protocol and they have the BEP20 protocol. BEP20 is Binance Smart Chain. It says BSC. So it's very easy to simply withdraw your cake into your Binance account. You just copy it into your clipboard. All right, you go over to your MetaMask wallet. All right, and you just go to your cake and hit send and paste in the address of your Binance account. All right, so that's kind of a no brainer. Now let's look at some of the more, uh, some of the ones that uh, people have run into problems with. So let's take a look at BNB. Now let's say that we want to withdraw BNB into our Binance account. Notice here that they want a memo and address. Now that is if you're using the BEP2 protocol. We are using Binance Smart Chain. Our BNB tokens are on the Binance Smart Chain. So we'll switch over to this protocol and we're going to get this Binance Smart Chain address. So we can simply copy that address into our clipboard, go back over to our MetaMask. We'll just cancel this guy out. Right, and this time we're sending some BNB. And we'll just send that to our Binance account, right? We can max it out and just click that. Right? We can just send that Binance coin right into our Binance account. But like I said, you need to be very careful. You need to make sure that you're using this protocol. Now, another thing you also need to be aware of is if you had traded for some Binance pegged coins, like for example, if you had uh, Binance pegged Bitcoin. So Binance pegged Bitcoin is different from regular Bitcoin. This Bitcoin is on the Binance Smart Chain. So we can check it out, BTCB, all right? We can do this, all right? This is Binance pegged Bitcoin. Now, if we look it up on the Binance Chain Explorer, we can get the contract address and we can add it to our MetaMask wallet as a custom token, right? And we'll just click next. And then you can see that it's the, the, the tokens that were in the trading field are also in my wallet. They just weren't showing up, right? And we can do the same thing with the Ethereum that I've got in here too, right? I've got some Binance pegged ETH. Now this is confusing because it says ETH. It says ETH, but it's not regular Ethereum. It's Binance pegged Ethereum. All right, there it is, Binance pegged Ethereum token. Right, and that's a BEP20 token. You need to be careful here. It says ETH, right? We'll copy this address into our clipboard. Let's go back over to our MetaMask and we're gonna add another custom token. Right, and see the symbol is ETH, we'll hit next. And there's that balance that I had in my trading interface. All right, now we can see it in our MetaMask wallet. 
Now, uh, we've got access to these in MetaMask so that we can send them into our Binance account, but we need to be careful. All right, so let's go back over to our Binance account and let's deposit Bitcoin. Now, here are the protocols, right? We need to make sure that we're depositing our Bitcoin correctly because if not, it will disappear. All right, so uh, we want to switch over to Binance Smart Chain based Bitcoin, right? We'll just copy that into our clipboard. Then we can go back over to our MetaMask wallet, right? And then we can do a send and paste in that Binance Smart Chain based address, right? And then we can just send this off to our Binance account, right? It'll end up in our Binance account. And after that, Binance will treat it as regular Bitcoin, right? Binance will convert it for you as long as you deposit it properly, right? As long as you deposit it using the Binance Smart Chain address, right? It'll go right into your Binance account and it'll become regular Bitcoin and then you can transfer it to a regular Bitcoin wallet. The same with Ethereum, right? Go over to Ethereum. We're going to do a deposit of Ethereum. We don't want to deposit it to this ERC20 address. It's actually the same, right? Binance will know, right? But don't use the BEP version of Ethereum, right? Binance Smart Chain Ethereum. Copy it into our clipboard. All right, we can go over to our ETH. We'll do a send. Right, we can just send that Ethereum right into our Binance account. No big deal, right? So if you have a Binance account, very simple to withdraw Cake, BNB, Binance pegged uh, Ethereum, Binance pegged Bitcoin into your Binance account, right? But a lot of us here in the US don't have access to Binance. Uh, we cannot trade on Binance. We cannot uh, deposit on Binance. So we're kind of stuck out. So what we need to do is a different method, right? All right, so uh, in order to get these tokens into our Binance US account, we really can't do the Binance Smart Chain, right? You'll notice if we go to Binance US and uh, we search for ETH and we do a deposit, we don't have that option. But if you try to uh, just simply deposit your Ethereum out of your uh, Binance Smart Chain wallet into this address, it will disappear, right? This is not a Binance Smart Chain address. This is an ERC-20 address. So please, guys, I've heard a lot of sob stories about people that are transferring Ethereum from their Binance Smart Chain wallet into their Binance US account. And of course, they don't, uh, they don't support Cake either. Right? And then if you look at their Bitcoin, we have a similar issue, right? Uh, we don't have a Binance Smart Chain based deposit address for uh, Binance Peg Bitcoin. The easiest thing is just to liquidate those before you, uh, if you're ready to cash out, right? So if you've got a bunch of uh, Binance pegged Bitcoin or Binance pegged Ethereum, then uh, you can just simply liquidate it on the pancake swap, right? Just swap it for, for BNB. That's pretty easy. The same with cake, right? They don't uh, have cake on Binance US. So if you've got a bunch of cake and you want to cash out, you want to liquidate, then you should just trade it for BNB. BNB is your go-to token if you want to cash out to Binance US, right? Because we can do that. We're going to have to convert it first before we put it in Binance US, but we can do that, right? So uh, let me show you what the way I would do it. So let's say I got a bunch of cake and I'm pretty happy with my profits or whatever, right? So let's just swap our cake for BNB. That's pretty easy. There's our cake. We'll swap it for BNB, and we'll end up with a 0.5 BNB. 
All right, we'll just trade the cake for BNB. Confirm that in our wallet. All right, so uh, that we've liquidated our cake to BNB. Now we're going to use the Binance Chain Wallet. I know these terms are a little confusing and there's a lot of overlap, but the Binance Chain Wallet is an extension that you can download for Chrome and it also works in Brave. I'll put a link to it down in the description below so that you can get it installed and it will do cross-chain transfers for you, okay? All right, notice up here that it can switch networks, right? We've got the Binance Chain, Binance Smart Chain, and Ethereum Network. So I'm gonna show you the easiest case first. We're gonna do BNB, and we start on the Binance Smart Chain Network, right? Uh, we hit BNB here, we do a receive, and we get that uh, Binance Smart Chain based BNB address. All right, so we'll just go over to our MetaMask wallet. This is our Binance Smart Chain configured MetaMask, All right? We'll just go to BNB, we'll do send, We'll paste in that Binance Smart Chain address from our Binance Chain extension. Uh, let's do 0.5. And we'll hit next. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. All right, and that doesn't take too long. All right, now we have uh, moved it into a wallet which is capable of converting it for us. All right, so let's go back over to that Binance Chain wallet. All right, there's our 0.5 BNB. Now here's the trick, all right? We're gonna switch over to the regular Binance Chain network. We're gonna get that Binance Chain address of our wallet. We'll copy that into our clipboard, all right? Now we'll switch back to the Binance Smart Chain network. That's where our Binance Smart Chain BNB is. We're gonna hit send, we'll hit send, We'll paste in that Binance address. Notice that it realizes what I'm trying to do. It says this is going to be a cross-chain transfer to the Binance chain. We'll go ahead and max it out. We'll hit send. And here's an overview of what I'm doing. From the Binance Smart Chain Network, I'm uh, sending over to the regular Binance Chain Network. We'll hit send, and it's done. All right, now all we have to do is switch back over to the Binance Chain Network. We'll wait a minute or two for that uh, Binance uh, BNB token to arrive. Okay. All right, there it is, minus a little bit of fees. Now we have our BNB tokens in the right format so that we can deposit them into our Binance US account. All right. All we got to do now is go over to our Binance US account, switch over to BNB. All right, we do need both, a memo and an address, right? You have to say, I understand, right? Please do not send this without a memo. I hear so many sad stories. Okay, so we've got our BEP2. See, we, there's our address and our memo. So let's copy this into our clipboard. Let's go back over to our Binance Chain wallet. All right, let's hit send. Let's paste in that address of our Binance US account, all right? But we need the memo, we gotta use this memo. Please don't forget the memo. There we go, copy that into our clipboard. All right, we'll just paste in the address there. Uh, we can go ahead and max it out if we want. I usually like to leave a little bit in. Let's just do 0.4, all right? Let's hit send. All right, uh, Binance Chain to Binance Chain, we're all good. All right, let's go ahead and send. And successful, all right. We'll go back over to our Binance US account. All right, and there we go, right? So the BNB is now in my Binance US account. All right, so if you've got tokens on the Binance Smart Chain in PancakeSwap or wherever, you best, your best bet is to liquidate to BNB, whether it's Cake or Binance pegged Ethereum or Binance pegged Bitcoin, just liquidate everything to, to BNB, right? And then you're gonna need to convert your BNB before you deposit it in your Binance US account. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.